In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a phenomenal man beater from the gun tray open in the Pittsburgh Steelers offensive playbook. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses on helping people become the best Madden player they can become. So if you want to get better at this game, click subscribe down below. It's completely free and it just allows you to get access to the most up to date tips and strategies from the channel. Okay, guys, so I wanted to do a video um, that is on a play at a tray open. Now, I believe that there are two um, there, there are two primary formulas for running the tray open. One of them is to use the Vikings playbook. The other one is to use maybe the Steelers or um, I think maybe the, um, the Ravens or I think the Giants have a good one, the Jets. Because those playbooks have uh, some other routes in them that aren't found in the Jets play or in the um, in the Vikings playbook, plays like clear out, level switch, Salem, dig and go, more man beater focused plays. Um, they still have some of the favorites like flood and corner, but um, I don't know. I, this one has PAY receiver in and Y corner as well. Doesn't have smash and smash I find to be a very important play to have. So that being said. This is a lot of fun. It's still really good from this formation. Um, it's it maybe even better in some regard, okay? So anyways, we're going over Salem today. This is one of my favorite plays to be able to beat man-to-man -man, uh, consistently from this formation. It's really, really, really good. If your opponent is just coming out and running man, this is a play that I would like to call. Now, if you want to get my entire tray open guide where we cover the entire offense, all you got to do is join the True Fan membership down in the description for five bucks a month. And uh, it's, you can cancel it any day, anytime you want, but it gets you access to everything that I put out on offense and defense um, as far as like just updating and, and mini guides and things like that. So if you want to get that, it's going to be going all Madden 22 season. And uh, let's jump into the tip for Salem. So if you want to get the guide, it's in the description. Okay, so first things first is um, this is going to kill press man. And really it's not complicated. We don't really make any adjustments, honestly. You don't have to. Um, you really don't have to make any adjustments out of this. The only thing I want you to do is, if you if you think they're pressing, is motion Godwin to the left and snap the ball. And what you'll see is he's going to kill man coverage. Absolutely kill man coverage. Now, one little pro tip with this is oftentimes, and you probably are aware of this, that people like to use her have been a linebacker so they might want to do this okay if they do that when you motion over i'll just show you the assignments don't change everything's the same okay but i can now bring him back so i can bring him back the only problem is when i bring him back it's a zig route i don't want that i want it to be on his route so when i motion him over this is a really important tip if I want to run that route, I don't want to run it over the middle because that's where the user's at, okay? I want to run it to the right, but I don't want it to get jammed. Square left trigger. Square left trigger, and now once he gets on this side, just spam hike. You see now we get him snapped in motion, and now press man cannot stop this route. It's an easy read. It's a real simple way to run this play, but it's real good. Because people aren't going to anticipate this. They're going to anticipate a hike there. Even if you reset the play, they're just going to think, oh, he's just changing his place. Maybe he audible. No. We're going to motion over. And then what I like to do is if I'm getting press man look, okay, I get a press man look, square left trigger. Now when I motion him back, I can snap him right in there. And now this is a really good route for zone. It's a really good route for man. The other thing is the slot corner will not follow him over if they are in man. The slot corner will only follow him over if they're in man. He will not follow him over if they're in zone, okay? So he follows me. Okay, I know it's man, square left trigger. Now I can set up a man beater, maybe put the running back on an option route, but I've got that first read to him, and then I've got the second read to Brown, really solid man beater. And I like how they're both together in this progression. Love that about this play. So that's my favorite way to run it. It's going to be really good against Shaded Off Coverage Man as well. Um, shaded Up Man is, is um, you know, it's not going to, it's going to be even better against Shaded Up Man than it is against this other. So I could snap right here if I wanted to. I want you to know that, and I could run it as a crosser. 
I could also hit square left trigger, get him back over here, and now have two really beautiful man beaters right here. Look at that, just toast him to the outside, easy read for me, and I can hit either one of those. What this is gonna force from your user is it's gonna force your user to have to go to that side of the field. That is the value. Because now what we get, especially if they're running man, now we get that look, okay? And now we can isolate this left side and work this C route one-on-one, -on -one. absolute laser. It's a really sharp cutting C route. It's, mo it's, it's almost like an out route, okay? Um, this is like my favorite route uh, from this formation. It's one of the most unique plays and it's so good at beating man. Uh, just cuts to the outside and just laser. It's so simple but it really does do a good job. It'll beat man probably 80 to 90% of the time. Uh, sometimes he gets too big of a press win, but as long as he does his little cut, he's gonna beat man, okay? So now what you're gonna get, um, not only does that all beat man, this tight end route, if you have a fast tight end and mutt, um, will split, if they're shading down man coverage, just simply pass lead it to the left, click on, and um, I threw it a little bit too early, I guess, but if you, just, if you just pass lead it to the left side and click onto him and do a little swerve catch, he should kill press down, like press coverage man. So they press man, pass lead it to the left, and you see he gets over the top, okay? Faster tight end and mud, better quarterback will mean better success, even if the defense is better. Um, especially if they do something like this here. So I'm gonna put David on him. Now, O.J. Howard's not the fastest tight end, but David's on him. See, so yeah, he gets a free release. And then just pass it up top, over top, get over top. There we go. Okay. He dropped it, but th you see the read is there. You see the read is there. Um, so if they ever shade, like if they ever start shading underneath a lot, this is a really good play for the X receiver. You see, he just gets over the top, pass lead it left. And that's more, you know, trying to get over the top there. And I need a little faster tight end, but if you have Calvin Johnson or something, Robert Woods, even if you have George Kittle, that's a dot and mutt. So, okay, so now if they, if we start to notice that they start, um, if we start to notice that they are running more shaded up coverage, then take X and, or if you just don't want to use the vertical, which is fine, uh, just put him on a, a drag. Okay, and you're going to get this read right there. And all that really is designed to do is hold the user. That's all that's really designed to do. Because I don't want them to be able to, to go user the left side numbers. I want to force him, if he's going to use her, to have to use her right there. If I can force him to have to use her over in that area, then that's going to open up these two man beaters right there. Okay. Let's talk about zone for a second. Um, also, if you get any blitz whatsoever out of man, if you get any man blitz, um, it's a one to two. You're going running back to, to drag. So first read is running back. Most of the time the running back's going to be open unless they user it. If they do user it, let's just assume they user it, then you've got this read right there. Okay. So can I throw the running back? No. Okay. Can I throw a drag? No. Okay. Can I go with the other reads? If they blitz you out of man, that's what you're doing. Same in zone, same progression. So all we're doing in zone, blitz the linebacker, so I'm throwing right there. Five yards. Okay? It's really one of the advantages of this formation. I hope he goes, gets the running back, throw there. Okay? That's, that's how simple it is. It's really simple. The other thing is, out of uh, cover three blitz, if you watch this R1, when he cuts the inside, you can throw that on a snap throw because the seam flat zone, a curl flat zone is the same thing. They sit outside. They're not sitting inside, they're sitting outside. So that's a good read well as well. Okay, so we force them now to go to their drop back coverage, their drop nine, Mabel coverage on both sides. Um, and watch this C route. Really, really consistent read against this coverage. Really good read against this coverage. 
Now, I want to be really clear and make sure you understand this is a theme in this guide. It is a seam flat zone. If the linebacker sucks in, that means he's in a seam flat zone. He sucks in, which means I got a lot of room to throw the C route. If he's in a curl flat, it's going to change it a little bit. So if he's in a curl flat, he's going to go more outside. Okay? So when we read this, now he goes more outside. Now I'm going to hit the drag. Okay? So it's like C route to drag. Or if you want to leave the vertical, you can. Um, and then you would just maybe check it to the right side concept. So the other reason why I like this is when they have to go to that C um, or curl flat side, then what you get, whoops, then what you get is this route to circle should get wide open and behind the defense right there. Okay, soft spot. Now, if they're user in and they know that that's probably something that you could do, one of the things we've talked about before on this channel is how good of a route the X is on a vertical. So if we leave the X on a vertical, you'll see we should have a pretty nice little Mike Blitz 3 beater. I'm just going to pass lead this to the right, click on, and uh, my tight end is not fast. I need to have a faster guy there. Normally, I'd have Scotty Miller there if I was running the tray open out of the Vikings book. You can get it done with Howard, but let me just show you. So, again, that C route's going to hold. Pass lead left. Once he gets even, that's what we're looking for. And I, he totally freaked out at the end of the catch. But that's that's a read. So, when their you, the reason it's important to understand that read is because when their user goes over to the other side of the field to take a dig route, that's where this becomes really, really a good read, if I can catch it. Um, and you need to practice this throw, but against cover three, it's a really good read. I'm telling you, uh, I've, I've completed so many one play touchdowns with this. Um, it's super simple. He goes to that dig, he's even, pass it left, click on. I can't get the catch with Howard, but mess around with it and try it. And if you don't want to do that, and you want to be a little bit safer, then just simply take your drag. So if they go to the in route, so I'm reading left, 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 bam. And it's about 15 yards. Okay. So this is a great man beater. It's an okay zone beater. It's really good against man. And I mean really good against man. It's okay against zone. One little pro tip on zone, real quick. If they are in a purple, watch R1. Low ball. See how it can kind of glitch out zones? Another thing I like about that whip route is if they're in deeper cloud, like, like what I normally run, which is 10-yard curl flats, so they're deeper than 5 or 0, that should mean that this R1 pass lead him outside. It's a late read, but it's a dot. Okay? So that's how you can really leverage the power of this concept. Really the key is if they're running – if they're running um, – now, Brady, if they're running seam flats, you really want to hit that um, that C route. That's the route you want to hit. If they're running curl flats, let me just show you. You can throw the C route. It's just it's not as it's not as clean, but you can throw this. Just pass lead it up into the outside, and I mean, you know, that's safety. It's it's dicey. It's it's not the greatest thing. One thing you can do. Um, if I put the back on an option route real quick, I just want to show this. So let's say I really isolate that C route, basically. See how this will cut it, kind of pull him inside? It really does open this up. So that's another way you can kind of use some spacing on the field. We talk about this all the time, about using the whole field, right? Not just trying to flood one area of the field, but we're going to try to really space some things out. If we go with something like that with an option route, what you'll find is this corner, at the end of the route, it comes inside, and I can throw that. Okay? That's a curl fly zone. So you can use an option route, especially if you're going to use this vertical streak. Is if you're going to use that vertical streak, then what you're going to get is now you've got a read that could be interesting against cover four. Okay? It's, it wasn't open there, but it could, it could be interesting to, to dive into that a little bit against cover four. 
Um, cover four, you're still going to have all your underneath stuff that we were, we were we've been showing you. It's just you might also have this bomb uh, to to the to the guy out here, the the tight end. Let me just show you one last little look at this. You're going to have your C route. I'm not saying you, you, if you watch the C route's open right now, it's open. But I also have this, you know, maybe pass lead over the top. And again, he's not fast enough to get over him. But if that's Scotty Miller right there, there's potential. So just mess around with this concept. And this is a lot of fun. It's a really fun little play. Um, you know, you really got this high low over here on the right side as well. That's really good. That whip route really can be thrown like a hitch and an out. Um, so I love that about this play. But anyways, that's the tray open. If you want to get the full tray open mini guide, uh, just click the link down in the description. You can get that full offensive guide down there. Thanks for watching. And you can get the full guide by clicking the link in the description and going to sign up for the Truth and membership.